Good morning. Are the most corrupt people sometimes the religious leaders? Today we're going to look at Mark 12 and we're looking at 38, 39, and 40. Then he said to them in his teaching, Beware of the scribes who desire to go around in long robes, love greetings in the marketplaces, the best seats in the synagogues, and the best places of, at feasts, who devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. These will receive greater condemnation. So why would Jesus go here? Why is he worried about these people? Why doesn't he just set up his kingdom with no reference to evil? Why doesn't he just kind of let it freeze it out and let it, let it die on its own? Well, because, because evil's never satisfied. Evil will come and uh, it's always trying to impose itself on those who, who are cleaving to good. There is a breach between good and evil, uh, not repairable. There is a, a great controversy between good and evil. There's going to be no compromise, no negotiation. We're not going, there's no way it can be worked out and smoothed out and let bygones and be, be bygones. We have total selfishness versus total unselfishness. And strangely, it's sometimes it's the religious leaders which are the biggest uh, piece of this, the biggest uh, exemplars of the wrong thing. Beware the scribes who desire to go around in long robes. So there's people with ostentatious dress. They're wearing these very expensive suits and clothes. They're, they think they're important. They present themselves as important people. They love greetings in the marketplaces. They're seen in public displays, photo ops, showing how important they are doing stuff. The best seats in the synagogue. So again, they're they uh, go and they present themselves in public spaces where there's religious, religious meetings going on among the various religious groups. They're engaged there. They're doing something. They're, they're, they're in that space. What else are they doing? They take the best places at feasts. So again, there is continuously here, you know, this is kind of a selfie thing, you know. There's a whole bunch of these people are always in the public eye showing how important they are and they're religious leaders. Their actual character is, is shown here in what they actually do. They devour widows' houses. These people are scraping the last uh, few pennies from the poorest people. They're just uh, oppressing the poor. All this business, but for a pretense they make long prayers. So they are basically showing off their alleged, they're alleging their piety in the public space. You know, it's interesting, too, that if you go back here just, uh, what, two, two devotionals ago, we looked at the scribe in, in uh, Mark 12, verse 28 through 34. Jesus has this uh, scribe that pops out of the crowd, and he says, uh, here, answer this question. And we have this discussion. This is just a couple of pieces away from that. Jesus now is warning about the scribes. And sometimes the scribes are people who are highly educated, in, among, and then they, they are among the decision makers, religious decision makers. So not that we should... You know, of course there are good religious leaders, but we want to keep in mind here that many are fakes. Usually the real stuff is harder to find, but we can test it all by the Bible. So we want to be Bible people uh, so that we can detect this. And we want to be a little careful. It might be from what we're reading here that scribes, for some reason, are a little bit harder for godly religious people to detect. Let's uh, pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be rightly guided. We want to uh, let iron sharpen iron. We want to be friends with uh, other spiritual people. Uh, many times, though, the leadership can become corrupt. So help us, Lord. Help us to be wise. Help us to be careful. Help us to measure all things uh, by the pages of Scripture. Lord, help us to beware the scribes, because Jesus has warned us to beware the scribes. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, for your help, because we look for leaders, and there aren't too many. So give us wisdom so that you will truly be our leader. We ask it in Jesus' name. Our part, our part is to be faithful anti-corruptionists, living in the midst of, of all the rest of this business and doing the right thing because it's what the Bible says, following the Lord Jesus. The Lord help you to be one of those people and go out into this world today like that. God be with you.